everybody. Welcome back to The Rush. Of course, that was the hit show Continuum. We're joined now by Roger Cross, who says he's going to behave himself. You can't trust that. Uh, you can't trust that. Alexa Doig and also Eric Knudsen to tell us more about the series. So who's going to explain yeah. where we left off, She's obviously. just me. Alexa, we left off with me pointing a gun at Roger's head. Yeah. yeah. Why are you going to do that to Roger? <laughs> thank you. Um, really? You need to thank, ask? Thank, no, thank you. Spend you. time with the man. <laughs> thank you. No. no. She asked a very valid question. Like, why? Because okay. it was scripted and I got paid to do it. Mm. Right. And you were the lo she was the love of my life on the show, and she just betrayed you. Shows that women can't be trusted. Oh, I know. It's just not <laughs> most yeah. women, not you, of course. We're really going to start like this? <laughs> <laughs> Roger. Oh, I from love you. that one. <laughs> Thank Come you. On. Yeah, it's doing better. Okay, who go. wants to tell us Continuum, the uh, season premiere for uh, season two is coming up. Where did we leave you guys? What is happening? What can you tell us? Well, with Alec, my character, uh, we kind of left off with him revealing that he left Kira. Uh, he was the one that brought Kira back to the, uh, 2012 at the time. And uh, we kind of, second season, we kind of reveal why he was, uh, why he brought her back and what he has planned. There's a lot of mystery. There's a lot of mystery, <laughs> and there's also a lot that we're not allowed to talk exactly. at all. Exactly. We'll have to kill you. Yeah. I know, but that yeah. would make a good scene. You, it you've already got experience great. pointing guns at people. <laughs> yeah. Might as well point one at me. Sure. <laughs> now, this show was a hit from the get-go. Uh, what was that experience like for you? I, uh, rewarding, because, you know, we, we, we make it, and we're behind the scenes, and we love it, and we think that, I mean, I, don't, I can't speak for everyone else, but I was really happy to read a script that was that smart that topical and that relevant, so it was really fun to see it uh, uh, be accepted by the general public. And I'm just going to stop talking now. <laughs> and the viewers. Tell us, Let tell it us keep about going. your character, uh, Sonia. She's from 2077, started out being kind of attached to this one. Oh! Um, <laughs> uh, and uh, I, she's, she's a true believer in the cause. I do definitely think that she's a true believer in the cause. And Roger, tell us about uh, who you play. Obviously, we, we left and we just saw at the end of season one a very uncomfortable situation. The, 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 the With betrayal, the guns. The, the betrayal. The depth of right. that betrayal, just like, I'm feeling it right now. It but hurts. tell us a tra <laughs> about Travis. Who is he? Travis is a soldier from 2077, and he basically was betrayed by his leader's superiors, the government, if you will, but back then it's the Corporation of North America. Um, and basically they felt once they were finished with this super soldier that they've created and done things with that, you know, he could be tossed aside and he went, mm, not so much. And so he's got a bit of vendetta um, on his mind and a bit of an edge and he links up with this lady and Kagami and all these other people and found, I guess, his purpose in life. Because that's one thing with this guy, I mean, all he had was being a soldier. And he has, he's very focused on his task and he will accomplish it by any means necessary. <laughs> if it means you kill a few people, okay, so be it. So, so, basically, yeah. basically yeah. right? <laughs> but you love him. Ish. Yeah, Ish. see, so. As long as it's yeah. kill him. Violent sociopaths need love too. Why is Vancouver such a backdrop for sci-fi? Cause it's cool. I, it I think is, it's right? Like it's futuristic. Is. Every it is. Yeah. Every show. Every show. Yeah. I think it, when I started my year, it started a long time ago because the Canadian dollar was weak. And so <laughs> yeah. here, en masse to shoot because they could get a bigger bang for their buck. Yeah. And, but, but and, honestly, and though, through that, no, but yeah. we, we grew this amazing industry that supports that. We've got amazing visual effects people mm -hmm. like our own mm -hmm. um, artifacts. And um, so they, they, they've created this whole support industry around it that now they come here not just not because the Canadian dollar is weak because it's strong, but because we've got some of the best in the world. Yeah. yeah. No, that's true. But I think also yeah. visually, it's yeah. great. Yeah. Because the texture that you get mm -hmm. when you shoot in that. very gloomy weather or not, you get some great textures and things is like that. Is that a Lego and orca? Yes, it is. It is. But <laughs> is that orca? Whereas if it's all in California, it's too sunny. <laughs> too bright. Yeah, it's just too much. Too pretty, in, in a sense. But anyways. <laughs> yes, Lex. <laughs> Random it is. is a Lego <laughs> you orca. It's been there for a couple years, actually. And I never um, And the fans it. love sci-fi, and that is the yeah. thing for, for all of you guys. What has that aspect of this whole experience uh, with Continuum been like for you, Eric, with the show? 
With sci-fi fans, it's fun. You know, we get to do all these, like the Fan Expo. We haven't done Comic Con yet, but I would hope we would do that eventually. But uh, it's you got people that really follow the story, and you know that people are really on top of it, so you can't screw up anything. Every you little can't. tiny detail, they'll they'll catch. Like if my shirt's ruffled right now, they they know that in the next scene that shirt shouldn't be it. ruffled. <laughs> they pay attention to oh, these they, things. They pay They're attention committed. to everything, and that's good. I mean, the sci-fi fans are the best fans, and they'll, they're diehard fans. They'll stay true to the. the this show till the very end. You mentioned Fan Expo. Where else can your fans see you? Uh, right now, it's just Fan Expo. Which is this weekend. This weekend this week in Vancouver. Premier season two. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's this exciting weekend. weekend. We're Very doing exciting for you guys. I'm playing poker on Seattle on the Shut weekend. Shut up. Oh. <laughs> Roger. Hey, Roger, let me ask you a question. What yeah. show aren't you on? Yes. You are on oh, Motive. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know there's How a, there's a Roger Cross guy? clause for okay. any production <laughs> that comes to Vancouver. Right. Right. They get a further You're tax break everything. if they hire Roger well, Cross. That's a good oh. thing. See, I'm good for That him and Brian Markinson. And Brian Markinson, exactly. Yeah, it's the Markinson Cross clause. Yeah. Cross quad. No, I like but that. really, Roger, you're so busy right now. How do you handle it? Because you're on so many shows. No, it's been great. And, you know, basically I had to ask the wife, you know, is it okay to do these things when they are popping up? And she go, they're like, well, we can work the days out. And I'm like, I'll, I'll be, you know, home. home never. But never. But <laughs> <laughs> so, so once she gave me the approval, it was kind of like, you know, I mean, the material that they've been sending in the shows have been a lot of fun. And obviously the three, my three main shows, this motive and arrow as well they're all doing very well and so they've been it's great to see the you know the great writing and then the characters that you can have some fun with and you know they let me kind of go with it and so i'm like okay and Lexa, <laughs> i've known roger for a very long time i also happen to know that he's a huge troublemaker uh you prepare both of you as eric you know. nodding <laughs> is he a troublemaker on set yes or no no he's a gentleman oh my. <laughs> thank you <laughs> <laughs> i don't work with him i don't work with him much uh, no, he's a that's my man yeah. <laughs> no yeah totally i mean it's it's mind-boggling he's no. a diva diva <laughs> diva behavior diva it's awful <laughs> don't let free willy go to your head no, 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 he did you do you ever want to Set with like his own it. headshots from Free Willy. <laughs> like, free sign. Free sign. Yeah, free like, sign. Yeah. Just carry them around. Yeah. That was funny. So do you guys, uh, are are you excited for the weekend? Do you guys watch yourself on TV? Some people do, some people don't. Do you, are you going to watch it? If we can, I mean, we also actually, a bunch of us get together to live tweet. Mm -hmm. Oh, you do? Yeah. I mean, tweet you, us. That's fun. Yeah. yeah, live tweet to the, the premiere. So I don't know if we're going to be able to do that this Sunday because we're all at the, the premiere. premiere. Yep. Yeah. You'll be meeting everyone in person. Maybe We'll yeah. just do a group live tweet. Oh, there you go. Well, there, there, you go. there you go. There you go. Could happen. Yeah. You have to follow these guys on Twitter to find out more, and you can catch the season premiere of Continuum. It airs April 21st at 9 o'clock on Showcase Canada. If you are lucky enough to be here in Vancouver, they will be part of the Vancouver Fan Expo. And when are you guys Woo. up at Saturday? the Expo? Saturday? Is Tomorrow. Saturday? Tomorrow. No, no, wait, wait. Saturday. 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 Noon. Check yeah. it out. Go yeah. to the website, because none of us know what we're talking about. <laughs> Clearly, we're going to take a quick break. <laughs>